Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today we got a vehicle here, this is a Suzuki, doesn't matter, Honda, Toyota, Acura, Lexus, BMW. EVAP, small leak. This vehicle has a small EVAP uh, system, has a leak. And uh, I do have my scan tool hooked up. I do have my EVAP machine here. This is pretty good, it's like a $700 machine, $700 to $800 machine. So right now it's connected to my jump box. I got the airline connected and I got my scan tool connected to the vehicle. It's very difficult to find EVAP leaks. All you need is a right mind and a little bit of experience. So what I do is, usually cars have like an EVAP port. This vehicle doesn't have it, I couldn't find it. But what I did was I disconnected one of the lines. I'm gonna show you my computer where I threw the smoke from. But anyways, I'm throwing smoke into the system. But at the same time, what I'm doing is, um, it does have a purge valve, purge valve open, sometimes the purge valve can be bad. That it, it can be bad, it can be stuck open, so you do need to apply a vacuum or push uh, smoke through it. You could take it apart, blow into it, and uh, let me get an EVAP. I, I do have an EVAP uh, purge valve, okay? So, here's an EVAP purge valve, this came off a of Toyota. So what computer does is it gives it power and it opens. And you see that? I'm not able to push any um, air through it. So, but engine cannot push air through it, but it does have vacuum. Usually vacuum is about, the engine is creating probably a seven PSI. I'm not sure, but every vehicle has a spec. I can give you a spec on that, but every vehicle is different. You could have, use the handheld pump. So if there is a leakage through here, because this valve needs to be closed all times. Only time it will open is when the computer commands it. But it can get clogged up, it can get dirty, it can get jammed up, so that will create a small leak. And also, uh, it can go bad, if the valve itself goes bad, the, the solenoid, then you'll have a code for like a EVAP purge valve. But anyways, enough said, let me put this away. So what are we gonna do is, let's pay attention to this right now. Right now, I have a, uh, let me see where my system is standing at. You see, it wants to throw in smoke, but there's a leak somewhere. Okay, you see what's doing? Click, click, it stops. Listen to it. Okay, hopefully the camera can pick that up. So it's pushing it. But check this out. I do have my system on the command to block the pump, leak test pump. Uh, so let me turn it off. Okay, did I do that right? Let me try one more time. Okay, I made a small mistake, okay? My line was pinched over here. But well, listen to this. I'm gonna command this to open. Right now, the valve is open in the back because it's gonna let all the fumes go out, okay? Let me close it. This is how we do an EVAP test. So if I take this, and I close it, there you go. Now it's checking for leakage, okay? So there is a leak because it is clicking still. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up in the air and we're gonna see if there's a leak somewhere down below. I got my machine on the floor and line is all connected and the system is commanded here. So let's go down below, see if we see something. I'm also gonna turn off the system to show you guys if there is a how the system works. All right, it's gonna be hard for the camera to pick up, but let's see if you can find any leakages. I don't see anything at all. Sometimes it can be on top of the fuel tank. That's something you, it's gonna be harder to detect, but Here's our pump that we commanded it on and off. So it's looking good. No leaks to be seen here. So let me follow along the lines. Sometimes it could be the line itself cracked somewhere. Okay, 
I don't see anything. But anyways, let me uncommand this. Then you're gonna see a lot of smoke. You do need to put the system into a test mode. Okay, I do see a smoke back here. See that? So we have a small leak back over here somewhere. It must be the pump because it's not supposed to come through here because the pump is, is probably clogged up or dirty. The vent and everything is done deal. But anyway, there is a small leak as you guys can see right there. It's coming down. But the pump's supposed to stop that. But let me, you know what I'm gonna do? Let me command the pump to turn off. Then it's gonna be a lot of smoke. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna open the pump. Now the machine kicks in, but you're gonna see a lot of smoke, okay? So we do have a leak. You see, now it's a ton of a smoke. There's so much smoke, all right? It's way more than a normal, but that's because if you got a pump open now, all right? But when we close it, it slows down, but not as much. So we do have a leakage in there. So my uh, guess is gonna be, I am gonna replace this little pump back here. They probably got a bad flap that opens and closes. Okay, I wanna show you one more thing, guys. So you see this pipe? This pipe runs from here. I'm gonna show you all this from the computer. How I throw the smoke is a better diagram of the thing. Okay, so this pipe here, you see how we were seeing smoke coming out through right here? So this pipe pretty much comes from that pump and it sits over here. This is just a went, okay? Watch this, check this out. You see that? My machine kicked on. It started to push uh, smoke through it. So what we're gonna do is, you see it's throwing now a lot of smoke but the reason is uh my system must uh turned off right now okay so we're gonna go back into the system and i am gonna so it, it stays on for a little long not too long but it stays on for a quiet bit so we're gonna go into the system and we're gonna command it to close the valve again. Okay, we're right here somewhere. Okay, right here, so let's close it. You see that? But, let me show you guys. It's still smoking. So the pump is not doing its job pretty much. It might be a messed up pump. The, the the leak detecting pump but anyways watch this when i do a leak test i could do a leak test with this okay but it's gonna leak out through there you see that it's still leaking it's not supposed to be like that so what i'm gonna do is give me a moment i'm gonna put the camera away i'm gonna block this with my uh glove here Okay, I, I ended the test with the rest of the smoke test. Also want to show you one thing. Your EVAP test can fail if your, this guy doesn't allow any vacuum in the system because uh, it does need to allow vacuum for the system to work on because it does check for like a pressure. All right, so this is my new sensor for the Suzuki. Uh, I'll give you a part number in a moment, but here's the one I took out. But check this out. I have this on, let's, I have this on ohms right now, so if I take these two leads, I should get some kind of reading, okay? Some kind of reading there. So I'm gonna take my leads and I'm gonna put it on to the pins. Okay, and we got, we got something here. We got something, 0 0.022, all right? Let's see how much the new one has. I was gonna change this, but uh, I am not gonna change this. But let's test it anyway. Point zero twenty. So they're about the same. They're the same exact uh, reading, okay? So that sensor is not bad, but it can get dirty. You can blow air through it. If air goes through it, then it's bad, all right? Anyways, 
Thank you for watching. I'm gonna, oh, you know what? I'm gonna go a little bit further and show you a little bit in our computer. Before we begin to do anything, what I want you to do is always, always check your gas cap, okay? A lot of times uh, it's simple that your gas cap can uh, cause a leak. A lot of people, they go to a gas station, they get their gas tank filled up with car running. Not a good idea because it's going to detect that you have a leakage, okay? Also, you want to pay attention to that seal in there, all right? Okay, if the seal looks cracked up, damaged, time for a new cap. But to get away with any type of leak, I want you to get a gas cap anyway and change it because it could be simply that you have a bad gas cap because that can be very simple fix okay so check your gas cap before anything